rebounding? What was the problem with rebounding? I think you pretty much had one guy who uh, really dictated the game and uh, set the tone for them. Um, you know, defensively, it's a pretty good job initially, but anytime you get a team, I think with 22 extra possessions, I mean, you know, a team like that, especially who's pretty good offensively, you know, you're really going to put yourself uh, behind the eight ball, but you just let one guy really set the tone as far as them getting the offensive rebounds. So, that's pretty much the reason why, uh, you know, we can uh, not win the game tonight because pretty much that one got to it. So. Do you guys think you guys are improving better with, like, defending the three-point? Uh, I'm just trying to prove it better, period. You know, I don't think we're trying to just <coughs> get better with just three-point, you know, percentage as far as our opponents. Uh, we're trying to get better on our aspects of um, defensively, offensively, mm -hmm. intangibles, transitions, and turnovers, and things of that nature. So, um, you know, we had a, a tough stretch where teams were really killing us from the three-point line. Um, I don't think that's have been a problem of late, but uh, for us, it's about collectively, you know, trying to improve on all aspects of what we need to do defensively and offensively as well. Do you think it's been like a lack of communication, like with them, um, like out rebounding you guys a lot? With, with rebounding? Uh, I'm just, sorry. Just oh, defense sorry. in general. I don't think it's a lack of communication. You know, sometimes it's, you know, teams are all working us. Uh, you know, uh, communication does, you know, play a, a major part into us not being successful in the defensive end as well. But, um, you know, we got injuries that are taking place. We got a lot of young guys who, as far as communicating and getting in the right positions, not quite on one accord with that. But uh, saying that, you know, we still have to uh, find a way to get it done no matter who's out there on the court. But, you know, whether it's communication or just effort, uh, just playing smart, uh, whatever it is, whatever it takes to not be successful. We're pretty much done that throughout the season. It was about a year ago to the day that you showed up in Cleveland. Um, can you talk a little bit about what this time of year can wear on guys mentally with you know names being put in line items of trade rumors and you know just things of that nature? Uh, I think for me it's different because I've been doing this for, for 13 years and it seemed like I would say with the exception of my first three or four years of the league, you know, my name has been thrown in there. So. <coughs> it's just like eating dinner and breakfast for me. I mean, yeah. I'm used to it. Uh, if my name is not in trade rumors, then I think something actually is going to happen. But uh, I think it might be different for some of these other guys who haven't experienced that yet. And you know, I just try to tell them. I mean, until you hear something from you know people here in the front office or your agent, you know, it's pretty much what it is. Just rumors. So just continue to go out there and perform like you have been. And uh, you know, that stuff would take care of itself, but, you know, it's just one of those things as far as the, of the business, you know, what normally happens, and, um, you know, you just got to go out there and just play basketball. Thanks, Juan. Yep.